truly anime lover. And this is Officer Drac. We're doing a Would You Rather video. Would you rather save the life of a starving African child that you never met or have an actual working lightsaber? I'd rather save a, a child that I... What about you? Same. Yeah. It's like, who wouldn't save a child? I mean, come on. I mean... If any of you pick, you wouldn't save the child that's starving, you're heartless. Yeah, there's actually a 39 percentile that would rather have a lightsaber than take care of a child. Okay, the 39 percent of you... You're mean. You're, you're just plain heartless. I mean... All right. Would you rather have a partner who was relig who has religious views, the same religious views as you, or the same political views as you? I wouldn't care as long as we're in love, but me and my husband have the same religious views, so I'm gonna say religious. What yeah. Same. So, okay. I mean, I don't. I mean, although I really don't care either way. It's would not care about them having the same religious view as you versus 53% want to have the same political views. What? Okay. To all the viewers out there, not including my subscribers, because, I mean, I already know y'all won't care. Who the hell cares? <laughs> okay, would you rather take an European sightseeing vacation or a relaxing Caribbean vacation. I would like to do both. Yeah, I'd say, but if I had to pick one or the other. Caribbean. Yeah, Caribbean. I mean. That way you can, I mean, you can, if somebody pisses you off, you can easily just throw them over, overboard. I mean. Okay, you know. so this isn't exactly <laughs> shocking. 26% of people would rather take the European sightseeing vacation versus a 74% that would rather take a relaxing Caribbean vacation. And don't forget the part, throwing the person overboard that pisses you off, even if it's staff. Oh my god. <laughs> would you rather legally change your last name to Hitler <gasps> or never eat chocolate again? That's not fair! <laughs> I mean, as long as your last, your first name was an Adolf, I think you'd be fine, <laughs> but at the same time... Okay, I'd, I'd rather never eat chocolate again if that were the case. Exactly. Okay, let's <laughs> like, see the percentile. Okay, so 48% <gasps> would rather change... What the change. fuck? Well, it's normally women that like chocolate. Especially when they're on their, you know, so 48% yeah, I know. would rather change Because my their... fiance was a total bitch when she was on hers. Okay, <laughs> so they'd rather change their name to Hitler versus 52% never wanting to eat chocolate again. Okay, whoever said they'd rather change their name to Hitler, it's a Nazi. Last name to Hitler, not your actual name to Hitler. Same name. <laughs> Okay, would you rather have no internet or no cell phone? No internet. No internet. Although I'd find a way to cheat the system. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I always do. Come on. Okay, so 24% of people would rather not have internet to the 76 people who would rather have no cell phone. Okay. Then, uh... <clears throat> In that case, what if there's an emergency and all you have is a cell phone? What if there, exactly. What if nobody, what if landlines weren't even invented? Oh, this one's so mean. Would you rather have no one show up to your wedding or your funeral? I'm going to say funeral <laughs> because I'd be dead and wouldn't, 
air at that point? Save me, I don't care if y'all show up at my funeral or not. Oh my god, 55% of people would rather, or wouldn't care if you showed up at their wedding <laughs> versus 45 people picking the funeral. Jeez. I'm sorry, I mean, you're dead. How would you know if they showed up or not? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess you'd be looking from heaven, but yeah, it wouldn't hurt so bad. Then again, yeah, we got it on the views, I mean. But then again, you know, if they don't come to your funeral, you can always come back and hunt them. Yeah, you can always come back from the dead and kill them instead. Eh, nah. <laughs> would you rather go back in time and meet your ancestors pre-1800s or go away into the future and meet your great grandchildren post 2020. Oh, hell no, because I'm never having kids. Ever. Well, I don't like, want kids. Well, like, what about your great great cousins? I mean, like, your great nieces and great nephews and stuff like that. Well, yeah, that, but I mean. Or, like, let's see the technology advancements in 20 or two. <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> 2,200. Well, however the heck you'd say that. I mean, no. I kind of like to go in the past and see the, write the Declaration of Independence and stuff like that. But at the same time, I'd like to see the future. So I would rather see the future versus see the past. Because you go to the past, you're going to make mistakes from the past. I'd rather do both. But you can't pick both. You have to do either one. You gotta pick. Yeah, I'd rather see my nieces, great nieces and nephews. All right, I'll put, mm. All Only right. because I'm a good uncle. Who cares? Okay, so we're like with the seventy-four percent. Seventy-four percent of people would rather go to the future versus twenty-six going to the past. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to go both, but yeah. I mean, I could always go to the past, then just teleport to the future and then teleport back to the I know your world. answer on this one. <laughs> Would you rather live in a world where there are, are no problems <laughs> or live in a world where you rule? <laughs> I already know your answer. <laughs> I'd rather live in a world where I rule. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't care, so I'm going to live in a world where there are no problems. So... So yeah, that's what I drew. A world with no problems. Okay, so this is going to shock you. 66 people would rather live in a world where there are no problems. You're in the 33 percentile where people want to rule the world that they live in. Are you brain or are you pinky? <laughs> hey, pinky, it's time to try to take over the world again. Okay. You like? I can't do the voices. Would you rather live in a Harry Potter's world or live the life of fame and wealth? Harry Potter. Okay, I don't like Harry Potter, so neither one. Well, I'm saying you could always use your wand to kill somebody with magic. Oh. Or, like, like make them <laughs> stupid, like stupefy or something. I don't know. No, actually, yeah, I'd rather be in a world like that so I could kill the people that pisses, pissed me off. But also they've got like butter beer and they got some cool potions and stuff like that. And yeah, that's why I like Harry Potter. They've got some cool things. Okay, so 65% of people want to live the life of fame and wealth. 35% of people would rather live in the Harry Potter world. Amen. Me. Completely. Me too. Okay, would you rather date a celebrity of your choice or the crush, the hottest person you know? Well, I'm married to the crush I have, so I'm going to say the crush, the hardest person I know, hottest person I know. What would you say? Celebrity or hottest person you know? Celebrity, because uh, there's a lot of them out there. Okay, well, 33% of people... Want to be with a celebrity, while the other 67% would like to stay with their crush or the hottest person that they know. I say celebrity because I don't got a crush. Mine cheated on me a long time ago. Mm. Well, you need to get back out there. Trying. <laughs> would you rather find true love or 10 million? Okay, first I'd rather find the true love, then the $10 million so I can pay for the wedding. 
So then true love. Why would you want to spend 10 million on a wedding? Are you Trump? <laughs> <laughs> no, 10 million, part of 10 million for the wedding, part of it for the house, part of it for the vehicle, and the rest for vacations, because, uh, no kids. <laughs> well, you'd have to break somebody's heart saying, I don't want no kids. Then again, there are some... I already some... have. My fiance says, because she told me she wanted kids, and I said no. Well, she's no longer your fiance. Don't give her the privilege of taking her. Okay, so 52% would rather do true love versus the 48 greedy people out there that would like the $10 million. But, uh, you know, thinking about it, I'm pretty sure everybody would. Would you rather be able to fly or read minds? I'd rather be able to read minds so I can see what people are thinking. That's what I'm thinking. That, that's really what I'm thinking. I'd rather be able to guess what you're saying about me before you say it. Be like, you know, you're calling me fat. Well, ain't you fat yourself? <laughs> kind of like this kitty right here. She can read your mind. She can't read mine. She's just creepy sometimes. So 52% of people would rather uh, fly than read minds to the 48%. All right. Would you rather spend the day surfing on the ocean or surfing the internet? If in a real good world where nobody got hurt, I would like to surf the ocean. Internet. You'd rather surf the internet? Internet versus surfing the in ocean for a whole day. Well, there's still sharks that can eat you. So. Okay, well, take out the sharks that can eat you part. Would you rather do it that way? I mean, if there were no sharks or anything that would hurt you. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. So, oh, uh, no, I don't want to save my answers. Leave me But alone. I'd be on my phone at the same time recording. 48% would rather surf the ocean over the 52% who want to look at the internet. I'm sorry. I'd rather have a cell phone than the internet. But okay. Some, <laughs> somebody commented, I hate water. Okay, so would you rather get a dream vacation for two weeks or spend five days with anyone in the world, but you must stay in your hometown? Aww. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Before we answer that one, back to the previous one where the person, whoever said they hate water, well, you must hate yourself because at least 90, 98% of our bodies are water, so. Well, also, do they ever shower? That's disgusting. Yeah, I mean, if y'all hate water, then don't it, come around here. It's like, when you read that comment, it's like, I smell you through the computer. <laughs> okay, so... Would you rather spend five days with anyone in the world, but you only can stay in your hometown? I mean, if I were to spend any with anybody anywhere, I'd like to spend it in Paris with my husband. But, obviously, I can't go anywhere I want. So, I'm going to say get a dream vacation for two weeks. Yeah. So, let's see what they say. Guys, 58% of people would rather have a dream vacation for two versus a 42%. Kitty? What were you saying? Getting the cat. What were you saying? Just the cat? Kitty. She's a pretty kitty. She just hey, you, attention. Yeah, you always, you always stare at us. You always like to look at us when we're recording, so that must mean you want to be in the videos. You know what? She just wants to be petted. Yeah. There. Okay, would you Journal rather videos. know the death yeah. not being not uh, not being able to be avoided by acting upon this knowledge? Would you rather know the date of your death or the cause of your death? I'd rather know the date and the cause of my death. Well, which one? You can only know one. I'd rather know the cause of my death. Cause? Yeah. I'd rather know the date, but I'm going to put cause and she said cause. So, 50 50. That's the first thing <laughs> where everyone's like 50 50 on that. Yeah, 50 50. Shout out, to, shout out to everybody who wants to know the cause of their deaths. All right. Would you rather be famous or the best friend of someone famous? 
I'd rather be the best friend of somebody famous because I wouldn't want paparazzi at my uh, at my doorstep at every five seconds, like TMZ and all that. Mm -mm. What would you rather be? I think I'd rather be famous, just so. But you'd have paparazzi like taking pictures of you coming off the plane and. Yeah, but I'd also have there'd also be really pretty girls that I could just get on. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> put famous on there for you. So, 61% of people would rather be famous than the okay. 39 percentile. So, you're not alone. I was about to say. Somebody said in the comment section, I hope it's not One Direction. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to whoever said that. Okay, so, uh, would you rather have more time or money? I would say time. Like, time to sleep, time to... Do things. I better have more time. You know, just so I wouldn't have to go to sleep. Yeah. Just you have, let's say, you got 12, 24 hours in a day, which is true. 12 of which you are sleeping, eating, sleeping and eating. Because you get, let's say you get nine hours of sleep. That's just gracious sleep period, okay? That's the amount that everyone, every doctor you ever talk to always says you need. Then you take an hour for each meal. Right there, that is 12 hours, okay? So what do you do with those other 12 hours? Well, let's say you got to drive somewhere. That can take anywhere from one to two hours, depending on where. Um, if you're watching TV, I mean, of course, and then of course everybody's on YouTube, Facebook, and all that. So where does all the time go? And that's how I feel. I'd rather have more time than I have money.